Hey, this is Nathan, your neighborhood arcade and pinball talk guy. We're going to be reviewing Canasta 86. Uh, this is an older fixed state uh, table uh, by Ender, I N D E R. Uh, with that said, let's go ahead and get this review underway. And please look for our review underneath the description of the video, as well as like and follow us under Arcade and Pinball Talk, under Facebook groups, Instagram, Twitter, as well as click that subscribe button. You know you want to do it. Be a bull and hit that thing. That button ain't red for a reason. And let's go ahead and get this ball going, shall we? You know, what I find with some of these uh, older fixed state uh, enders and playmatics and, you know, game plan and stuff like that is they're actually set up pretty well, believe it or not. Uh, so, I mean, right off the bat, first impressions like I've had with some of these ender games is, you know, it's actually got a nice setup to the play field. I mean, it's got a uh, stopper peg to the bottom. The flipper gap is a little wide with you got... Uh, basically two in lanes on each side with 500 with two out lanes to the external at 5,000 two targets left right drop targets left right on the left you have a, a lane with a spinner going up the columns uh, you also have some other columns to the top right with a lane going up there and some rollover uh, some square bumpers pop bumpers with a target in the middle when lit and some drop uh, targets to the right with a target down to the bottom right. So all in all pretty decent kind of setup on this game And uh, you know so far the first ball showed me it flows very well Table speed on this is actually up there too as you notice. It's a little quicker. That's a little abnormal for some of the older games But you know what I found with some of these uh, enders and game plans. They could be quite quick For being old try and get up that lane there. There we go. So there's some rollovers to the top left, which that's how you could bonus out up there. Now we got up that lane to the top right, hit that bonus up. And so, you know, there's a little bit of difficulty. You almost got to ride the rail to the right to get up there. And, uh, you know, obviously the speed of this ball is there. So moderate gameplay as far as difficulty. Replayability on this table, I would say, is there. Um, it definitely has uh, the speed. Uh, to it, so it's fun. It's fun to shoot. You know, there's a, there, I mean, really, it, you could have horrible games, and if they're fun to shoot, you're gonna keep playing them. I don't think this is a horrible game, so please don't take that from what I said. Artwork on it, obviously, uh, you know, '86, and it's basketball themed. On the back glass, they actually have a gentleman that is not does not look like Jordan at all, though it says Jordan. <laughs> Pretty cool. Artwork is decent for this, for the age. Look how fast that is. So, artwork is pretty decent for this. Theme, uh, you know, it's basketball. So far, it's decent. I mean, you know, again, I, you know, basketball games like Fast Break, stuff like that. You know, you got some baseball themed ones like Frank Thomas. Uh, you know, good games. I mean, they're they're definitely good, and they call to a certain segment of the market. But if you get the opportunity to try to find this and play it, I think you're going to like it. So find it on mechanical and virtual formats if you can. But anyway, please look for a review underneath the description of our video. And that wraps up our gameplay and review today. Uh, thank you again for watching, and we look forward to our next video with you guys.